morning everybody it is Friday it's Friday and um, I was going to work but uh, we have no electricity at my job so I have the day off paid thank you Jesus so um, I am off today and so I wanted to do this updated video for the reconstructive surgery okay hold on one quick and I wanted to do a update for the reconstructive surgery um, my insurance did approve me but it did not approve me for everything that I wanted to be done and it didn't approve me for my arms or my legs um, so but it approved me for my stomach so I went on yesterday to let them look at me one more time and then set my date so my date has been set and everything so me and the surgeon was talking in regards to him doing my legs for me right which is a cosmetic surgery it's plastic surgery so you know we have to pay out of pocket y'all when i tell y'all this man want a lot of money for this surgery but wait a minute it's just not for taking the skin off he just want to do he want to do two parts for my legs so we gonna start there so um the first part is when he go in to do my stomach he want to do liposuction on my legs, right? To get some of the fat off my legs, right? And so he was like, we'll do that first. And then three months later, you come back and then I'll take the skin off, right? So I was like, okay, that sounds all right. You know, I'm like, okay, whatever. Because he's want to loosen up, you know, all this little the fat that's in my muscles, right? So then my legs would be nice and smooth. I said, okay, fine. You the, you the professional. You know what you're doing. But y'all, when he gave me these prices for this liposuction, this is not for my stomach. My insurance covered my stomach, okay? This is just for liposuction, okay? For the surgery, he want $3,500. The anesthesiologist, they want $460. Operating room, recovery room, $980. Overnight stay, $600. Uh, uh, total estimate. This is just an estimate, okay? This ain't, it could be more. They want $5,540 just for the liposuction. Okay? This is just for the liposuction. That's what he want for liposuction. And he want this paid before I go into surgery, which I understand that. You know, most, you know, I get that. But just for liposuction, y'all, almost $6,000 for liposuction for this man. Y'all, I'm sorry. As bad as I want it done. I don't have that type of money that's laying around. I just don't. I just don't have that type of money laying around. When... You know, I can, I have other options. I'm going to say it like that. I have other options, you know. And so, uh, not only that, I have to buy that, you know, pay for that. That's my estimate. Then I still have to get, like, these little body garments, right? So, I have to get two body garments. And it's like these special ones that come, you know, come up to the stomach all the way down to the knees, right? And so, um, this is the one that they was talking about. I don't even know how much. I got to look all this stuff up because I don't know how much these things are. So, that's one, you know, of it. I hope you guys can see that. So, I have to get two of those. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. In regards to my legs, I, I you know, I, like I said, I do have options, you know, that I can, you know, that I can do. I can just uh, get my stomach done for right now and continue to wear the girdles, you know, for different things that I need, you know, to bring my legs in for. Um, you know, at least for, you know, for another, you know, for a while until, you know, maybe I can come up with the money to get it done. Um, or I can go abroad, you know what I'm saying? And, and, you know, and get it done and get more done, you know, for the prices he's quoting me. I just don't, 
I, because it's the thing, like it's only five, well, six thousand. I'm I'm rounding up six thousand dollars just for liposuction. Three months later, I gotta go back in to get the skin removed and everything. That's probably another six thousand dollars. I don't have twelve thousand dollars to get this man in six months. That's that's ridiculous. No, I just don't have it and. Uh, especially when I'm trying, I got other things I'm trying to, to accomplish. Like I want to buy a house. I want to, you know, so I have to, you know, do my, I have to get my priorities together and which one is, you know, you know, what's, what's going to be done first. I, I need that. I, I want to buy a house. Um, so, you know, I've been dealing with all this for, you know, for this long. So I think I'm just going to get my stomach done because that's really the bad, The well, it's not the worst. It's one of the bad areas of my stomach. You know, I'll feel better, you know, if my stomach is down. I can um, work out, you know, try to do whatever for my legs, whatever, even though, yes, it's going to be loose skin. And then I can just wait to get that done at another date. You know, maybe sometime next year, the year after. Who knows? But, uh... I'm not going to be pressed about it. I'm just get done what I can get done with my insurance, what they going to cover, and then we're going to move forward. Okay? So, but I, I'm still going to buy these garments, though, just because um, it helps with the uh, abdomen, with my stomach, when I get the surgery and everything done. Now, one thing that they did find uh, when I went in yesterday, um, they looked at my, um, my stomach again, all the areas. I did go down six pounds. I lost six more pounds uh, since I last weighed in, which I'm so happy for. Um, what else? But he did feel a hernia. So I do have a hernia, a high hernia up here. So what they have to do is when they go in, they have to, which is good for me, is because at first I thought that all they were going to do was like my lower stomach. But now they found a hernia. Not that it's good, but you know what I mean. But now they found the hernia, they have to do upper reconstructive and lower reconstructive on my stomach, which will bring my stomach down and make it more flat and more, you know, what I want. So that's a good thing. I'll get my, you know, the whole entire stomach done. Um, so let me move this back some. So what they're going to do is he's going to make incisions all the way from back here, all the way around, right? And so I already had... Um, I had a hysterectomy back in 2017, no, 2012, so I already have like a bikini cut, so he's going to go along that line, you know, to make sure I don't have extra, you know, scarring, whatever. He got to move my belly button and all that type of stuff, so, um, your girl going to have a flat stomach, thank God, I have thighs, but the thing about it, like I told you guys before, I don't want to be extra skinny, I ain't never been extra skinny, I don't want that. I still want a little meat to me. I just don't. I don't want my thighs all gone. You know, I just want them nice and smooth and that type of thing. So, yeah. Um. So in regards to that, I'm just gonna buy my options for my thighs and for my arms. You know, and get those done at another time. Okay. Now for the big reveal here. This video is gonna be very short. Maybe I may push it on out. Um. So oh. So they gave me my kit, okay? They gave me my kit. So with any surgery, you know, you have to um, take showers and stuff like that with a special soap. So I have to take two showers, the night before surgery and the day of surgery. So I got my little two soaps, whatever. They also give you like this little special mouthwash, one before, one the night before, one the day of. And then, you know, to help with your breathing and stuff, they want you to exercise your lungs and stuff like that, all that type of stuff. Um... You know, and like they just give you like the all the stuff that you have to do. Um, they made me sign a paper in regards to if I would uh need a blood transfusion, which I had that before when I had um my hysterectomy, my iron was also I had to get a blood transfusion for that. Another thing is I have to get my blood pressure down some. It was a little spiked yesterday, so I gotta make sure I'm keeping my blood pressure down and keeping my stress and everything down like that. So that'll be done. Um what else and uh they don't want me to lose too too much weight but if i do that's fine too um listen honey girl got to get down to a special uh size so 
I'm still working on that. I still want to be down at least to uh, uh, up under my 200 benchmark. I'm right above that. So I want to get down uh, right up under the 200 benchmark. So when they take the skin off, that'll be nice for me to, you know, do. Right now, I'm not really, I'm not pressing in regards to um, the num the weight. weight. I'm really like looking like for a size, if that makes sense. I want to be like a, I don't want to be no smaller than like a 12, 13, 13 my goal was to be like a size 14 i love i like a size 14 it's still kind of thick but it's skinny it's like a skinny thick that's what i'm trying to be you know skinny thick i want little thighs i want a little uh, butt you know what i'm saying a little meat to me um so yeah that that is what i'm going for uh, right now i did go y'all i'm sorry right now uh <laughs> I did, uh, I went to the store with my son on Mother's Day, and we were, we were in, um, I forget what store, we went into a lot of stores, and my youngest son, um, Sean, he had me trying on different clothes and, you know, different sizes, because I don't like clothes shopping. I never have liked clothes shopping, and, you know, I just feel very insecure, okay, so he took me and tried on some clothes y'all i was trying on a size large and it fit blew my mind blew blew my mind a large so um and i tried on an extra large as well he was like mind you can't do a 2x anymore stop trying to you too small just go ahead and just try it on I, and I, my thing is i'm scared because like you see like my arms are still you know the, the uh the skin on my arms and stuff like that i just feel real insecure about that but, you know, my boys always know how to, you know, just really encourage me, really just, you know, make me feel better or whatever. And so, um, I, uh, yeah, so I'm going to be trying on some more clothes in a smaller size, um, because now some of my clothes are getting big again. Um, but I think that's about it. So I got my support system in, in place. And, you know, they know everything that's going on. They know the dates. I have a couple more people to tell. But as um, far as my support system, I, you know, my support system, you guys, I love you guys. You all support me. I love you so much. I thank you for all your encouraging words, all your hoorays go forward, pushing me just to really, you know, keep on this weight loss journey. You know, my family, I thank you all so much. I hope you guys are watching these videos. Um... You know, I thank for all my friends and everyone that cares for me that, you know, is very concerned about my health and just being concerned about me. I really, y'all yeah, see this? This is really irritating me. I, it's just, I don't know. But anyway, so the big date, the big day is December the 20th. You asking, why would you wait so long? I had to put into consideration my work schedule and the time that I would need off. During December, my job, my office closed down at least for like two weeks. And when I looked at my schedule, we would be closed a good two weeks. So if I put it on the 20th, it's like my last day of work, I can take off that day. Then the following week, I'm off that whole entire week. Then the next week, I'm off. So I'm praying. I'm praying that when it's time for everybody to go back to work, you know, um the core the pumps and everything will be taken out by then and you know i know i will be in pain but i'm praying that it won't be in so much pain where i cannot sit at my desk at least tight you know what i'm saying and so hopefully by then my sons will have their licenses and they can just you know take me to and back and forth to work whatever you know or i can have i'll have something in place so i can get back and forth to work during that time even if i can't go like a full day a half a day i just i can't I don't want to take off all those, like, he was talking about six weeks. Sir, people got bills, okay? I can't take off no six weeks, okay? Um, so, I will be trying to do, like, two, maybe three weeks, maybe. But, um, and that's why I pushed it back so far. At first, I was thinking about September. But then, I, you know, looking at the schedule, looking at my time frame, looking at how much time I got, you know, for time off and all that other type of stuff. It is best that I did it in December 
Uh, I know that's during Christmas season. I'm not tripping about that. You know what I'm saying? By um, during that time, you know, before that, I'll have like all my decoration stuff up because you know I like I love Christmas. So, and I'll just I'll have everything in place where everything is together. You know, I'll have to spend one night in the hospital, maybe depending on the pain. But I'm praying, y'all pray for me that the pain will not be as that bad for me. Um, however, whenever I am up under anesthesia, when I come out, I'm very um, different, if I can say that. Very different. So, um, that will probably be my only concern about the surgery, is that um, the anesthesia coming out, you know, from up under anesthesia. So... That is the update, guys. I have my date, and um, I'm looking forward to, you know, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to this new journey. You know, I will have to buy new clothes all over again, I think. Yeah, because I won't have my stomach anymore. So I will have to buy new clothes. So I'm not going to buy too many clothes this summer because there will be no need to buy the clothes for the summer. Cause I won't be able to wear them next year at all. So, uh, which I'm so glad y'all. I have not been spending a whole lot of money on clothes because of this fact. Because I knew I was going to have this reconstructive surgery. I know sometime, probably late next year again, I'll be going through another surgery. So, it does not make sense to me to go buy hundreds of dollars of clothes hundred dollars worth of clothes and i know i won't be able to fit them you know what i'm saying that just don't make sense that's wasting money i'm very frugal i don't like wasting money so um i will be buying little pieces for the summertime you know a little pieces for like the winter time is like sweaters and stuff like that but it just don't make sense to me to go buy a whole bunch of clothes which i'm not gonna be able to to um to fit anymore so that is my hoo-ha uh whoop la forever uh for the uh reconstructive um update i hope this helped people listen whenever if you are in, or if you are looking forward or you are looking into getting reconstructive surgery after weight loss your weight loss please make sure you have asked the doctor about all these costs because if i did not ask them about all the you know the extra costs and you know what my insurance cover whatever the case may be you know, I would have been up a creek, y'all. Would have been up a creek if I did not go in there really asking questions. Because when I went for the weight loss surgery, you know, they told me that the reconstructive surgery for my stomach, legs, and arms and stuff will be covered by my insurance, which was a lie. It's just my stomach, okay? So I really need you, when you go, really ask questions. Really go in there with a whole lot of questions. The more questions that you ask, the more, the better understanding that you will have. And don't be like, oh, I'm asking too many questions. No, this is your body. Ask a whole bunch of questions, regardless. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Don't be afraid to research. Don't be afraid to, you know, look up other YouTubers, see what they, you know, what they've been through, what they had to go through to get the reconstructive surgery. Weigh out your options because, honey, we have options. You don't have to pay $6,000 for one procedure. You don't have to do that. Um, cause you, it, it, there are other options that you, and safe, and there, there are safe options that you can do. So I'm still looking to those options and everything else. I'm not about to limit myself because, um, I don't want my body looking this any kind of way. I'm sorry. And people can say that that's vain. That's whatever. Be thankful that you lost the weight. Yes, I am thankful that I lost the weight. I thank God for the weight loss surgery. I thank God for the size I am. I thank God that I'm more healthy. However, I don't want loose skin. I don't want the flabby arms and the flabby legs. And I don't want none of that. Because why? In the long run, you have skin breakdown. You have skin tears and all that. I'm not trying to do all that. I'm not trying to have that. I'm trying to be nice and, you know, put together and I want to look nice in my clothes. I want to look nice outside of my clothes. And, you know, that's just it. You know? So, it's your body. You know, you have to do what's best for you. Um, and and um, I encourage you to just research it. Just research it. And, um, you know, just research it. If, if something don't feel right to you, don't do it. You know? 
And yes, you can get other people's opinions, other people's thoughts, but what really matters is your opinion and your what you want and your thoughts, you know. Yes, you know your loved one wants you to be safe, and I want you to be safe too. So don't go out there doing, like, no crazy stuff just, you know, just to, you know, look a certain way. Don't go out there injecting your body with, you know, toxic, you know, uh, chemicals and materials. Don't do that. I, I, you know, let's do things safe, you know, where you're healthy and, you know, you're around for the long haul. You know, it don't make sense to lose weight and then, like, you injecting yourself with all this stuff and then, like, you sick and then, you know, things happen. You know, God forbid. So, I love you guys. I thank you for your support. Please comment, questions, thoughts, concerns, anything. I'm going to read them. I get them. I get my notifications. But um, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Please turn on your uh, your bell. Come on now. I need you to turn on that bell so you know when I'm uploading videos. I have been doing quite well these past few days here, guys. I'm very proud of myself. This video will be up soon as well. I'm going to edit this video and get it going for you as well. But I love you guys. I thank you guys for your support and for all your kind words and wishes and everything else. You guys have a wonderful Memorial Day weekend. Make sure that you enjoy yourself. Be safe and uh, eat everything that I can eat. I love you. Mwah.